Well, 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 good morning. So what are we doing today? We are gonna get into the service mode and we are going to safely do a full battery drawdown to 0% and ramp it back up to 100% to show battery degradation. How are we doing that? I'll show you. A very easy group of buttons to push. The little car icon, software. Hold the word model until you get a little flash or just a few seconds and then you type in the word service s-e-r-v-i-c-e because i'm publicly schooly educated service mode get into that sucker and then you get all these cool little icons that pop up and the one we want is battery and then we're going to select the high voltage battery and look what it gives you state of charge at 48.8 percent but the car shows 49 close enough so it rounds up uh the pyro fuses intact battery health 100%. That's what we're actually going to be looking at tomorrow. So if you hit the health test button, it will actually drain the car down. You have to be plugged into a level two charger for it to work. And we have the wall connector, so we're good. Contactors closed, which indicates the car is not charging. Uh, power conversion systems. There's your front drive unit, the compressors, rear wheel drive unit, and everything is absolutely green down the board kind of a really cool little thing that you can get into in the service mode in your Tesla. Uh, three and Y are good. I'm sure you can do this in the S and X refresh. I'm not sure about legacy, but you can really screw up in here too. If you want to get into really funky stuff, you can get into the alignment and start messing with that and really mess your day up. You can get into your connectivity and it's actually going to show you where uh, your Wi-Fi connections and all that good stuff are. And if you really want to screw stuff up, you can get into all kinds of calibrating and reset. And, oh, man, there is some really funky stuff in here. Cameras where they are and how to – do you reset cameras? Yeah, you can ding them and reset them or ping them and reset them. So, yeah, you want to screw your car up real bad. There's a great amount of stuff in here to do that with. But we are more interested in the battery health because the car has uh, 25,000 miles on it. In the back of my head, I almost said a quarter million. That would be dope for a 2021 um the car will safely uh draw down the power power and um it tells you there's gonna be heat generated and all this kind of stuff so i haven't charged the car in a week and we're 49 percent. i expect to be about 40 percent when i get home from work it's currently tuesday afternoon wednesday morning tomorrow morning when i get home we're going to run through this so Quick little video that I can put together super quick because it's going to go fast in the morning so I can go to bed because I work nights. So, this will be very interesting to see after 25,000 miles, year and a half of ownership, probably realistically 50 DC uh, fast charges, uh, what the actual degradation on the battery is. Um, I like doing this better because I don't have to drive the car. I can do it in the comfort of the garage in a climate controlled environment. And the computer is doing all the work to degrade the battery to 0%. Granted, there's a buffer indicated zero and bring it back up. So we'll see you guys here in just a second and uh, we'll get this going. Good morning. Well, about 16 hours later, just finished my shift and we are going to get this service thing all taken care of. We're going to drop the battery down to 0%, run it back up to 100, but like I said, got to uh, be plugged in and we've got the wall charger right over there. I'm all caught up around the wheels. So let's see what happens. Okay. Car icon. And then we go into software, anywhere in there, little flash, S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E. OK, enable. And then again, we're back into the big screen, but we're going to do it for really reals this time. And battery, high voltage, health test. To authorize, hold the turn stock up. Press the brake and have the key card here for 10 seconds. Brake on. And you guys can ride out this 10 seconds with me. And it does say that the, uh, okay, we are unlocked. So I go ahead and take that off. Turn off the blinker. Health test. Before running, state of charge must be below 50. We're at 38. 
vehicle must, must be plugged into the charger could take up to two days or up to two days 24 hours high voltage battery will be discharged and then charged to full heat will be generated outside the vehicle that's fine here we go health test oh yeah there's all kinds of fans that kicked on out there and um I slid this to 100% on the way home. Um, I did not, uh, the car did not do that. So, gateway unlocked. There's a 851 second whoop, countdown. Alerts to check, speed limited. There's all kinds of stuff going on. So, I'm going to bed and uh, it is 710 right now. Again, we're at 39%. So this is gonna do its full drawdown and I'm gonna try to get up around noon, noon 30. And uh, as soon as I do, I will uh, grab some coffee because I don't function without that magic. And uh, we'll come out here and check it out. So, it's gonna be a few hours for me. It's gonna be nothing for you. Bam. All right, we're back. Car is charging. It's uh, about 1.15, I think. And we are indicated charging. What is your deal? Weirdo. All right, let's see what we got going on in the car. Stay. Do, 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 do. Ooh, we have stuff and things. So we are at 60. Oh, it's 2.13, not 1.13. So we are at 68%. High voltage battery management system, state of health, test requirements met, test starting. And then there's some other verbiage right up there. So we are still in service mode. And it doesn't look like, that just says service mode down there. It doesn't look like anything else has changed other than the car is charging. So I'm not going to push OK until this is all done because I certainly don't want to go through this all over again. I wish they would scoot that over so I could see what's going on over here. Bedhead. So according to this, we've put 22 kilowatt, or, kilowatters, <laughs> kilowatt hours back into the pack. Um, we were at 38% when um, we got home. So that's interesting. I um, I thought that we would, you know, drain it to zero, come back. I wish I could have set up a camera, but, I mean, I guess I could have left a door open so the screen stayed on. Damn it, I should have done that. Um, but we're I'm more curious on what it says the degradation of the pack is. So we'll find out, hopefully, at the end of all this. And then what we're going to go do uh, after it hits 100%, I don't have anything going on for the next few days, so I go back to work. I'm just going to go shoot up I-5 or something and just burn off the top part of the pack. So it says 2 hours and 35 minutes remaining. That'll put us at 3, 4, about 5 o'clock-ish, somewhere in there. And we are charging at 11 kilowatts, 48 amps. So we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like here about 5 o'clock tonight. So that'll put it on a, what, a 10-hour uh, service cycle to do all this. Now, granted, that was from 38%. You have to be under 50, so... If you're at 50%, it drains down. It, um, it'll be interesting to see. I'm really interested to see because we're at 69%, almost 70% of the pack, and it's only put 22 kilowatt hours. That is about right from 38%. So, hmm. Anyhow, it's a health test. We'll find out. So we'll check in with you guys in just a little bit. So it's 75% now and two, almost 245. So it's been about a half an hour. I'm editing this video as I go, but I decided let's just see what happens. Test starting, okay, it can start. And now we're still charging, but we're still in service mode. So contactors closed because we're charging. Charge level 75.4%, battery is still 100% health. So this is why I did this. I figured that, where's my finger? Battery health 100%. I figured that that's meant what um, was degradation. It's not. I think it just means that the battery is 100% healthy. 
So, I'm not honestly sure what's going on here. But everything else is um, the same as it was prior. So, we're just going to go ahead and finish charging it back up. And honestly, this whole thing might just be a... Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? A BMS calibration. Damn, you're 80 in the garage, which is about accurate because it's like 72 outside. So, hmm. Not nearly as exciting as I thought this was going to be, but uh, we're going to go ahead and finish with it. It's still showing a little over two hours, which is going to put us at about five o'clock still. So, I figured I would just push the button because why not? It, 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 shiny stuff and meaty so we'll let it finish running up to 100 and uh i i honestly don't know what i mean it's not like you were going to get a printout of what happened it's um probably just all internal i mean i'm sure if we were hooked into a obd scanner at tesla it would give us this full printout of everything going on and it might say something at the end but i doubt it because it's right back to where we started so we're going to let it do its thing, and then we'll just go peel off some of the, the battery percentage. So, we'll, uh, I'm not disappointed. I mean, I expected more nerd data, but at the same time, you probably shouldn't be in here screwing around anyway, so I get it. So, see you guys in just a little bit. All right, we have stopped charging. Actually, we stopped charging a while ago. Stopped charging a while ago. Hang on here. Went to a Christmas light thing at the Sundial Bridge where they just put the new superchargers and this hadn't finished in time. So she's sitting at 100% charge right now. And move, dog. Okay. Now that I'm all finally situated. Oh, yeah. Can't put your foot on the brake and do anything with the charging cable plugged in. Hang on. Okay, so here's where we are. Charging complete. We added 45 kilowatt hours and we are at 100%. Um, all the pertinent stuff is still up there. Charge 100%. Why that's gray? I don't know. Health test 100% on the battery and everything else came out fantastic. So just for fun, let's push that button again. Okay. And then it just goes back through it to do it all over again. So, so I'm not really sure what to expect. If I touch the percentage back to miles, it's uh, 335 miles, 358 um, is what the vehicle is listed at. So it's a difference of what, 23 miles. So figure what? five six percent degradation after a year and a half this is a 21 uh model three long range um yeah that's it um with twenty five thousand miles like twenty five thousand three hundred and change so yeah lost that many miles in a year and a half Pfft, i'll take that all day long that's fantastic um the test tomorrow will be to see what uh what we do here, we might run out to Reno, just get some mountain time in there and, and pull that pack back down. So there you go, guys. You can go into service mode, draw it down, and I'm pretty sure it's just a battery, uh, uh, the, the BMS recalibration. It just does a full reset on that, but I don't know. All I know is it was there, so I tried it. I hope that you guys find some use out of this video. And uh, if we do shoot up to the mountains tomorrow, we are going to do something because I don't want this. It's, it's going to sit at 100% through the night which I don't particularly want, but it's once. It's not a big deal. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. I know there was a lot of repetitiveness on this. The whole thing from start to finish took, oh, yeah, about 12 hours. And that was where I started at 38% this morning, plugged into my wall connector at 48 amps on a 60 amp breaker. So thanks for watching as always. Subscribe if you haven't, please. And we'll see you guys on the next one.